the eighth gift of the yoga practice, of the Ashtanga practice. So I'm packaging these gifts in a way that as your teacher, who is someone on your path of yoga, that I want you to have these when you leave your practice and roll up your mat to go home, that you realize this was the reason you did your practice. And today's is again, like all the other ones, very important to me, is the gift of pause. Not pause like our little animals pause, but pause like stop. Embedded in this beautiful method of Ashtanga, we have these vinyasas, the way we enter a pose, the way we exit a pose, and each one of these has a punctuation at the top and at the bottom that holds our mind into the present moment, the moment that we're living. A long time ago, I heard a statistic that said 80% of the time we're either thinking about something that happened yesterday or something we're gonna do tomorrow, but actually, um, my guess is that statistic is much higher than 80%. It's so hard for us to be just in this moment that we're presently living. And the practice of Ashtanga has a way for us to train ourselves to, to, to pull back and be just right here in this breath, right here in this Chaturanga, right here in this up dog. And the more we do this, the more we do this, then we begin to take that out the door and into how I show up and have coffee with a dear friend or when I'm on a phone call or when I'm reading a book to just be doing that one thing that we're meant to be present for. So join me for the teachings today. I'm sharing one of my favorite Patabi Joy stories, uh, the Why Hurry story, and hoping that Patabi Joyce will uh, be a little voice in the back of your head as well that is asking you to pause, to be in the moment, and to ask you, hey, Diana, why are you hurrying? Why are you in such a hurry for, to be here? And then when you're in the next thing, you're in the hurry to be in the next thing. And then when you're in the next thing, you're in the hurry to be to the next thing. This is a great gift of our practice to just hold us in this beautiful present moment, which is where we're fully alive.